Hi, welcome to Scotty Wandering. My name is Peter, and in 2023, during the summer, my wife and I took a van tour around Iceland. We rented a happy camper van, and this is our van tour of that happy camper van. It's time to give you a van tour. Not that one. This one. This is the happy camper van that we uh, rented, and we're going to walk you through it. We'll start up front. Basically, there's not much to show here other than one important note. The cup holder that comes with it is very small. It does hold soda cans from here that they have in this country, but our water bottles had to go in the door, and it is a stick shift. Um, they do have automatics as well, but most common is stick shift. Now, yes? One thing I wish I had brought was a travel mug for coffee or gotten a travel mug for coffee that would fit into that because drinking, this is the only place I had to put my drink and that's not a good place for coffee. Yeah, and the coffee cups that came with the van didn't fit in there. And they're kind of not travel mugs anyway. All right, so it has nice little 12 volt outlet there as well as some USB ports there um, that are quite handy. They're hooked up to a house battery in here, not to the engine battery. The battery in here charges off the engine as you're driving around, which you do a lot of in Iceland. Um, we also have a Wabasco heater, diesel heater here. Um, she's cranking that up. We'll see how long if it kicks in or not. So that comes out down below the seat over here. So you got to make sure once you have the bed made that you don't block that outlet if you use the heater. And we've only had to use it a little bit this trip. Yeah. In yeah. the summer, it's not important. I'm sure in the winter, you got to have it. Oh, sure. Um, nice little plot spot for the stove and these four bins. Uh, they provide silverware, cups, plates, and some pots and pans and give you a whole bin that is just for um, the, uh, just for food. Did you want to mention those? Yeah. So when you <laughs> are on the eastern portion of the country, there are no potties. None at all. So your two favorite friends are going to be this and maybe some of these or something like that. I use these a lot. <laughs> um, and then there's extra butane under here. We, we didn't even get into a second bottle, did we? Um, they gave us one that was slightly empty and three full ones. So we did start a first of the three that were full. Okay, I'm going to go around the other side quickly. So one of the things I really like about this layout is you have the option of an outdoor kitchen. And now I can get my big water bottle under here to fill it up. When we pump it up. Now, we did wind up at the end having an issue getting that to pump. Um, but it was great. For it was great up until then. And to refill the water, you pull the blue hose out. Just take this out. All the campgrounds have um, hoses to fill up the water. All the water in this country is great water. And these bins are actually more accessible, especially if you have the bed made from the outside. And the sink here, the water just drains right out onto the ground and that is one of the reasons they really encourage you to use campsites because they want that kind of stuff draining in the campsites not out in the middle of nowhere and there are campsites all over this country. We also have a fridge. Um, this lid just happens to be broken and it makes it easier actually. It's actually quite large. It's, it's about twice the size of our fridge in our van. It's pretty darn big. Yeah. I, I thought maybe we'd just be getting a cooler, but it is a temperature set yeah. fridge. It is very good. And we've been living off of this and brie and um, skinka is ham and uh, crackers. And these blueberries from Portugal are to die for. They're really, really good blueberries. Big blueberries. Um, one of the best features that is an adder at Happy Camper is this tablet. This tablet has our Wi-Fi hotspot, and it also has all sorts of built-in um, from Happy Camper guides to help you get around the country. 
And you, you can build your own trips too. So. Yeah, so she, she's been, as navigator, spent a lot of time on that looking for attractions on our way. So this is our trip today where we started out here and went up to Reykjavik. Did a that lot of wool shopping the wool today. Tour, the wool circle pretty much on that trip. All right, uh, quickly before we do this, uh, curtains all around. Um, and they're just held in. You just pull them out of here, slide on the rail, close them off, and they're all the way around. They don't black out. Oh, do we have our mask? Do you have a mask, Andy? No, I'll, we'll get that in a minute. Okay. Um, so they're not blackout curtains, but they at least give you privacy all the way around. And so we have a seat here. If you have a third person, there's a seat, you know, with a seat belt or somebody you can hang out back here and drive if they want but and that twists around too oh yeah and this front seat is on a swivel so that's handy too all right go ahead and this leaves lever. room under here yeah there's a lever right here that you push down and then you've got to pull up it does help to be a tall person and your her arm fits my arm doesn't i had to go halfway and re switch my arm <laughs> lever a ball bar, bar pulled there and that drops down and, and they can get the Peter's camera bag out of the way. And that's why we have room under the bed. They give you this nice mat, which does an okay job. It's better than nothing, but both of us felt the bars quite a bit. Now, this van is actually probably one of their older ones. It's got a lot of miles on it. It's been around the, the, the ring road a few times. So you get the double duvets, which is standard here. You get your own smaller duvet. And then you get uh, pillows. pillows. Um, yeah. If you're going to buy anything at Costco and leave it behind, this might be one of them because this <laughs> is pretty flat. Um, but these are the sleep masks Peter was talking about. Yeah, I've had picked those up before our trip. Actually, you know, I got my first one a couple months ago. They are padded. They are a complete light block, and it's like a warm hug for your head. Yeah, it's sensory <laughs> deprivation, and it's quite lovely. I wear them at home now. There's a little light in the back corner, um, as well as another 12 volt plug back there. And this actually is pretty bright. I was yeah. impressed by it. Uh, should I fold the bed back up? So quick going from night to day is, just roll that to the back, flip that one up. There are headrests that we put off into the side, flip the lever. Push. I'll push the lever, push the lever, flips over, and now we got a place to hang out in the van. And easier access to those. But like I said, even when the bed's down, you can still access the cubbies from the outside. So as we were packing up at Happy Camper, they offered to go ahead and pick out a couple chairs and a table. Uh, so these all fit. So the table actually is small enough that on edge it slides in here. Uh, we got room for our luggage back here. Most of our dirty laundry wound up over here as we were traveling. Um, most of that's cleaned up now as we're getting ready to get to the airport tomorrow. So Happy Camper also offered up, um, I don't know if they're for extra for rent or to borrow, they had towels. We brought our own microfiber towels, so they're big, um, that we had just really got for ourselves for travel, but they have towels there, so that's one less thing you have to bring as well. Hyper Camper also offers up maps to buy, and they have a store swap, so things that you have left over, you can leave behind for the next uh, campers. We picked up some jelly, some Nutella, and a couple of soups, and we'll be leaving behind a bunch of food that gives us more room for traveling back. So that's our tour of the van. All right, thanks for coming along on this tour of a Happy Camper van. If you want to know more about camping throughout Iceland, I've already done a video that detailed how no schedule van life works and camping works within Iceland. It is a very freeing experience, especially in the land of the midnight sun when you never really dark and the attractions like waterfalls never close. Check that video out here and get on out there. I'll see you on the next one.